Anesthesiologists, they have been performing mechanical ventilation in the operating room, in the ICU, but uh, we really don't know which are the settings that are most protective for the individual patients or for a group of patients. This is the reason why we grounded the ProofNet Protect Ventilation Network. Our goal was to uh, find associations first between mechanical ventilation and outcome in terms of pulmonary complications, for example. And based on those findings, go to interventional trials, to randomized con uh, controlled trials, where we test if a given setting has the possibility of influencing the outcome of those patients. We have a different uh, range of studies from the ProofNet, observational studies, but also interventional. For example, we have the PROTORP trial, an investigation of the effects of different levels of PEEP, a higher PEEP combined with recruiting maneuvers versus a lower PEEP without recruiting maneuvers during thoracic anesthesia, during one lung ventilation in patients uh, submitted to lung surgery. Surgical obese patients, they are at a even more increased risk for postoperative pulmonary complications. What Probe is aiming to was to answer to this question, a higher level of PEEP versus a low level of PEEP. Which one will lead to less postoperative pulmonary complications? This trial was initiated about four years ago, and now the trial is finished. We have the results available, and they will be shown during a lecture. I invite you to see for the first time, it's a premiere. So what are the results of the ProBeast trial? Euroanesthesia TV is brought to you from Euroanesthesia 2019, the European Anesthesiology Congress. For more videos from the Congress, make sure to click these links and subscribe for much more from the world of medicine.